Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome to Thursday. Yeah, Thursday morning. Today, we're talking about making risky progress, what risk really is, and what you should do with it. Now, if that sounds interesting, you should stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Well, hello. Let me turn that on. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. When you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do as Catherine has done already and leave a comment and say hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yesterday I did seven minutes at 7.07. Today I'm doing it at 7.05. I don't know. I feel bad about not starting it straight up 7 o'clock, but I had good stuff going. I had to take care of that. So um, all week this week, we have been talking about oops, talking about change uh, and kind of the things that we can do uh, for change. There you go. Just like that. That's not the one I wanted, though. Yeah, that's the one I wanted. So all week we've been talking about change. And so this morning I want to talk to you about risk. Um, so this, as of most days, uh, originated with a quote, but now I think I got a pretty interesting take on it today. The quote comes from Frederick Wilcox and says, Progress always involves risk. You can't you can't make it to second base without and keep your foot on first. Right? Can't make it to second base, keep your foot on first. Progress always involves risk. Remember, progress is movement toward a goal. All right. Now, here's the thing about risk. When we're talking about making a change, a lot of people will avoid the change because they say it's risky. Oh, starting a business, that would be risky. Oh, taking a job with this startup, that would be risky. Let me give you some stats to help with our context of risk. Every day, <laughs> every day, I, see, I can't even see the squirrel. Every day we get in the car and we go and we drive or we ride or we ride the bus, right? And, and I got these numbers from the same year just so they'd be uh, comparable. In 2016, 2016, right at 32,000 people were killed and just over 2 million people were injured in car crashes. Those are important numbers to remember. 32,000 were injured, 2 million were killed in car crashes, something that we do every day, sometimes multiple times a day. Sometimes you even let other people drive and you're not even in charge. For jobs, though, in the same year, 2016, just a smidge under 20 million people got laid off or fired from their job. Ten times more people were laid off or fired from a job than were injured in car crashes. Yet we drive in the car multiple times a day but we keep a job that we don't like, or we don't take a job that we think we would love, or we don't start a business that would be great because it's risky. I'm just going to leave those numbers laying there, let you do with them what you, what you see fit. But I'm going to suggest to you that it's not risk or the avoidance of risk. I, some people won't say it's risky. They'll say, well, it, it's safe. This job is safe. What the job really is, or what the, the current condition, since we're talking about change this week, we're comfortable in a condition, right? In a job, in a house, in a uh, relationship, whatever. We're comfortable there, right? And there would be risk associated with changing. So we avoid that. We, well, this is safe. It's not really safe. As the stats have already pointed out, it's predictable. And it's that predictability 
that you're clinging to, that you're holding on to. I mean, we've all done this, or we all know somebody who's done this. Kept a job for years that they hated because it was safe. Well, it wasn't safe, it was predictable. Right? So now that the important thing to understand here, right, as our, as our quote of the day says, all progress involves risk. So the important thing to, to get our head wrapped around to understand here is that we take risks every day. So if you are avoiding making a change, doing something different because you think it's risky, you should give up on that argument now. Because Tom's going to cut the legs right underneath, right, right out from underneath that argument. You, you deal with risk every day. So risk is not what's holding you back. It's your comfort with the predictability of the outcome if you stay where you are. Once you accept that, once you get past this argument that it's risky or this job is safe or this, you know, whatever. Once you get past that and just accept that a real change, real progress involves some risk, then you can just move on in the face of it the same way you do when you get in the car every day. It's risky, but I get in the car every day. Don't even think about the risk, unless maybe I'm trying to cross the highway. Then that's like taking your life in your own hands. Just accept it, proceed imperfectly in the face of it. And that's how you're going to get to change. Today's Thursday, that means what? Tomorrow's what? What's tomorrow? Friday. Friday. All day long it's Friday. What happens on Friday? Free coaching Friday. That's what happens on Friday. So if you have, oh man, I... It's a project I've been meaning to work on. If you have a question, a comment, or a topic that you would like for me to tackle on Free Coaching Friday, uh, be sure to send me a message. Either leave the message on this video, send me a direct message on Instagram or Facebook, or just send me an email. Tom at Tom Rigsby. That might not get answered right away, but we'll get to it eventually. But uh, send me the question, or be here in the morning prepared to ask the question. Uh, and play stump the coach with me and we will do that there is risk in living so why not be bold in the journey i like that look at this i'm gonna i like that so much i'm gonna put that up uh right over the lower third that's good Catherine. i might have to use that there's risk in living so why not be bold in the journey that's a great place to wrap things up today. You guys have a fantastic Thursday, and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care.